the Memorial Hill, Skorks Shirku Garden. This forest area is on the outskirts of Stockholm in Sweden. It's called Skorks Shirku Garden, which translates as the Woodland Cemetery. The question of how to organize land for graveyards became a serious one in Stockholm as the city expanded. City officials in 1912 decided to build a cemetery on almost 100 hectares of pine forest. One of their main goals was to provide facilities for cremation. The cemetery is the final resting place for 120,000 people. It was designed by two architects, one of them being Erik Gunnar Asplund. The goal was to make the essentially untouched forest the dominant experience, with the buildings and landscape working as an integral whole. Asplund designed the crematorium and chapel. They were incorporated into one building. There's a fresco inside entitled Life, Death, Life. It's on the chapel's front wall and shows the dead under Viking tradition being carried to the afterworld by ship. The curved wall here depicts an ancient funeral ceremony. The coffin placed in front of the altar is lowered following the funeral service and sent directly to the crematorium. There's a large cross in front of the crematorium. The path from the foot of it leads to the graveyard area. This is Memorial Hill. It resembles an ancient burial ground. It's the largest area for the dispersal of ashes of the deceased in Sweden. People can spread ashes in the woods or bury them under a gravestone. One in three choose ash dispersal on Memorial Hill. Facilities are available for the families to reflect on memories of the deceased. Skog's Shirku Garden was inscribed as a World Heritage Site because it's seen as an outstandingly successful example of a designed cultural landscape. The architecture and setting create a site well suited to its purpose as a cemetery to comforting the friends and relatives of departed loved ones.